good morning. It is bright out here. It's like 10 o'clock. Just ordered an Uber to get us into REI to get some shoes for Vince, and I'm going to get some too because I need a bigger size. Um, there's a Chick fil A right around the corner. And there's a Walmart like 0.6 of a mile away too, so we're going to do a little light resupply while we're there. May as well just do it all at once. So, yeah, hopefully we can find some good shoes there. Do you ever wonder what prompted some of these signs? Well, I know what prompted this sign. How's it going, Vince? I think I'm doing okay. The worst cascade is. No. I've tried on two pairs. I'm not happy with them yet. Okay, I'm going to try some Hoka's. Coming up a whole size. Hopefully I like them. They feel pretty good. I tried on a bunch of shoes, like four pairs, so hopefully these will work. We just spent an obscene amount of money at REI again. Vince got a sleeping pad. $600 more. We both got shoes, I got socks, I got new um, base layer <laughs> yeah. pants, a pair of running shorts. Um, and then we got like our nun tablets and goo and stuff like that there too. So we're going to go get something to eat. There's a Chick-fil-A around here. I'm so stinking excited right now. Vince is trying to pretend he doesn't like Chick-fil-A. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, look, they're hiring. First impression. <laughs> he says... Give it your review. He says... This is definitely a chicken sandwich. <laughs> he says it's a pizza chicken on a soggy bun. He doesn't deserve Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Best chicken salmon you'll ever have. Mm. What How's is it yours? What do you like about it so much? I'm it's curious. just so good. <coughs> How's yours, Vince? Finger, the bun is finger soft. looking good. The chicken, wrong place. Oh. The chicken is juicy and delicious. Any ch any bun will be soft if you take it out of a steam. I like egg. no. I like Canadian McDonald's mm. junior chicken. Stop it. That's it. I'm going home. These guys do not deserve Chick-fil-A. <laughs> One of the workers came up and talked to us about the PCT and gave us uh, six free sandwiches for up the road. <laughs> like little cards for six free sandwiches. I guess I'll be eating all six of those. <laughs> we had our Chick-fil-A, I enjoyed it, and now we're walking to Walmart for some resupply. I enjoyed it too. Don't listen to him. I enjoyed the Apparently I can't read a map. We're turning around and going back the other way. We were walking the wrong way. <laughs> I don't like Google Maps. It's confusing to me. So we're doing some resupply. This is all of our stuff. All three of ours. We're getting some fried onions because those make mashed potatoes taste really, really good. Bought some sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits for breakfast. So was, I like these little squeeze things of peanut butter. Gotta have Sour Patch Kids. And Vince likes adding like different seasonings to his food, so he's got some of that in here. Captain's Pop-Tarts. Okay, we found a scale in Walmart. <laughs> I have lost about five pounds. Okay. No, it's wrong. Maybe you gained muscle. <laughs> it's gotta be muscle. Yeah. Because your pants are too big. Sure I not. stepped on it too, I've lost 15 pounds. So, but Doug apparently has gained 10. <laughs> it can't be right though, because his pants are too big. He had to buy a belt. Huh. You just drink that whole thing. <laughs> Thirsty? <I> was. <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> So we're sitting outside of Walmart trying to get an Uber. We had one and then it canceled on us. And then it jumped up double the price. So we waited a little while and now I'm trying to confirm one again. I'm not quite sure how we're getting back to the hotel if we can't catch an Uber. <laughs> Didn't really think that one out. Okay, so someone confirmed our ride. It dropped back down to the normal price. And so 15 minutes away, so we're hoping they don't cancel. We're sitting like right outside the <laughs> right outside the door of Walmart. And I thought about taking my Vince hat off. was going to put his hat off and put it on the ground to see if people would give him money. <laughs> we are not homeless. We are hikers. 
made it back to the hotel. Holy cow, the traffic in California is ridiculous. I could never, never, ever drive here. Out with the old, in with the new. They're a whole size bigger. And I had almost no tread left on these. I went for Hoka's. Look at that. They're not zero drop anymore, so hopefully that helps my tendons too. I also had to buy bigger socks. Because now I don't wear size small socks. Now I'm in size mediums. Got some essential resupply today. Some electrolytes, some Stroop waffles, some candy of course, some peanut butter, and the all important Advil. <laughs> Alrighty, we have reached the end of the evening. We are slowly packing up our stuff. Um, I reached out to a local trail angel group and we've got a gentleman picking us up tomorrow around 9.30. Gonna drop us back off at the lake and so we can do those 12 miles that we missed between here and there. Um, and then we're heading to Wrightwood. Um, yeah, we had Del Taco again for dinner. <laughs> Mainly because nothing delivers here. Cajon Pass is not really a town. It's just, there's a hotel and a couple gas stations, so. Um, my gratefulness for the day is Vince found the holes in my sleeping pad. There's two tiny little pinholes, two of them actually, which is amazing because it only loses maybe half air at night. So we found two tiny little pinholes on the top part of my mat, so we patched them, hoping it holds, but it's a Sea to Summit pad, so it has like these really deep dimples, and they're in the dimples, so put a little bit of super glue around them and some patches, and we're hoping that it holds. Um, if not, I probably looking for another sleeping pad too. So anyways, back on trail tomorrow.